If I plan a trip in my Model 3 on the navigation system, it will automatically check if I need to charge in order to reach my destination and then calculate the optimum route and uh, the optimum charging possibilities to reach the destination. But it will do so only taking into account Tesla superchargers, not other chargers. There are many other charging options along the way, of course, and there's a solution called a better route planner in the form of a website and also an app, which does exactly that. It takes into account the specifications of your car and all the charging possibilities that are along the road and in that way calculates the optimum route. And today I want to see how well it performs. So I'm at a better route planner. I'm planning my trip for tomorrow from Amsterdam to Fulda in Germany, which is northeast of Frankfurt. Here is Frankfurt on the map. Frankfurt, uh, Germany, and about here is Fulda to the northeast of it. Um, I have adjusted some settings in the route planner to adjust for my driving style and how I want to charge uh, along the way. First of all, I've set my model, car model to Tesla Model 3 performance. The departure state of charge I've set to 90%, so I'll make sure it's up to 90% when I leave. The reference consumption I set to a rather high 180 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, that's a bit high, but I, I'm not a very efficient driver, I found out. Um, then, as far as charging goes, I don't want to arrive at my destination with less than 30% of charge. So I have some buffer once I'm there. And when I arrive at a charging uh, destination, I don't want to arrive with less than 20%. Also to have some buffer in case a better route planner is more optimistic than I actually drive. I don't want to drive higher than 90% while charging because otherwise it would be taking too long and it's also not so good for the battery. And important settings are here at the speed uh, option. Um, the maximum speed I've set to 160 kilometers per hour. Uh, and I'm not going to adjust the speed in order to make my uh, charging uh, session. So, you know, you can you can have it say, don't go over 130 kilometers per hour in order to to reach your charging destination. I would I don't want to do that. I don't want to be limited. Okay, so let's see what it comes up with when I plan with these options from Amsterdam to Fulda. Okay, so we have three charging stops planned one tesla one ionity and another tesla the first tesla in Zevenaar in the netherlands where i should be arriving with 63 percent and then go up to 76 then another one in lichtendorf which is an ionity charger going from 23 to 88 percent it's going to be an expensive charge because I already raised their prices quite uh, heavily lately and then back to a Tesla charger in Malsfeld, Germany where I should be arriving with 20% and then leave with 58% of charge to arrive in Fulda with 30% so I'm very curious if the actual drive tomorrow is going to be like the route planner here set it out for us um, so there's only one way to find out Okay, so we're off uh, on our trip. We're at 90%, exactly as we told a better route planner we would be when we leave. Um, and so we're on our way for the first charging stop, which is in Zevenaar in the Netherlands. And we should be arriving there with 63% of charge. So let's see. So I'm pretty close to my first charging stop in uh, Zevenaar. Um, I'm currently at 66% charge and if you look at a better route planner, I'm actually quite impressed with it. Uh, first of all, it's nice that it works on the browser in the, in the Model 3. Um, according to a better route planner, I should be at 67% of charge now. Um, oops, somebody is... Um, I'm a bit less, but then again, I did 190 watt hours per kilometer and I uh, entered 180 watt hours per kilometer as uh, average consumption when I uh, planned the route, so that makes sense. Um, but all in all, I think the statistics are really nice. It indicates where I am, uh, what the charge level is, uh, well, some interesting overview. 
and we should be arriving at 63% of charge in safe now and probably it's going to be something like 61%. Okay, we're at Sevenaar, 63% charge is what we should have. In fact, we have 61, so a bit less than planned, but anyway. Uh, and the plan is to charge here for six minutes and then be up to 70%. So let's start charging. Okay, I'm gonna charge, start the uh, stopwatch. And we'll charge for seven minutes and uh, see where we're at at that point. Probably a bit longer because we do want to get to the target of 70%. Okay, we're six minutes into the charging session. I, I made a mistake. I said we should get to 70%, but the plan is to go to 76%. Right now we're at 68%. Uh, so, well, yeah, we only did like 6% uh, uh, of charging uh, at the moment. Uh, and we need to do another 8%, so that's definitely going to be more than the planned uh, 6 minutes of charging. Okay, we're there, 76% after 12 minutes and 30 seconds. A bit more than the planned uh, 6 minutes, I think it was. But then again, we had to go up from 62% rather than just uh, 65, I think it was, I don't remember exactly. So now the plan is to drive to a, an Ionity charger in Lichtendorf, 144 kilometers, one hour and seven minutes. Okay, so currently on the road to uh, the next charging stop, uh, Lichtendorf Süd. Interesting thing to see is that the uh, route planner says we will arrive there with 23%. Currently we're at 71. I also entered the same destination on uh, the Tesla route planner and there it says I will be arriving with 34%. So obviously route planner is being more pessimistic because I told it I will be using 180 watt hours per kilometer. And that's probably true and I might even uh, go a bit uh, above that. So I'm curious with which charge rate will uh, arrive there at least in Dorf. Okay, so we're close to Lichtendorf charging station. Um, we're actually doing better than uh, I anticipated because we should be arriving with 23% charge state and currently we're at 29. Uh, so I'm consuming less than I thought. Uh, the consumption has gone up to 221 watt hours per kilometer because I was driving like 150, 160 uh, kilometers per hour here. But still we're doing better than a uh, route planner thought we would be doing. And actually, yeah, I think it's pretty accurate uh, how be a better route planner uh, predicts how things are going. More accurate anyway than the, the, the default uh, estimate from uh, the Tesla planner. Uh, if I look at that. I see that right now it's estimating that I will be arriving with 29% of charge when initially it thought it would be, I, I think I remember it was something like 34%, I'm not totally sure. Anyway, so we're close to our uh, charging spot and we'll go charge there to, I don't know, I think like 88%. Okay, we're charging, 24 seconds now, um, 80 something kilowatts, we'll get back to this screen. So we need to charge here for, according to route planner, 26 minutes to 88%. So let's see how that goes. So the plan was to charge for 28 minutes, no sorry, 26 minutes to 88%. Uh, 
Um, but in fact, what happened was that after 29 minutes, we reached our charge limit of 85%, which is what I had set it to. The next stop, so we have 176 kilometers to go and we should be arriving. I'm not sure if I can show this here. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we should be arriving with 20% of charge, but it's probably going to be then, okay, uh, 16, 17%. Almost at our next charging stop, uh, Milesfeld Supercharger, Tesla Supercharger. Um, the idea was to be here with 20% of charge, and actually this is exactly what happened. Uh, we went away with a little less charge than we were supposed to, we went away with 85 instead of 88%. So I think Better Route Planner is doing really well, I mean, I drive quite quick. Um, and even so, it calculates or estimates properly uh, how much I will use. Whereas the, the normal Tesla uh, uh, navigator always assumes the same thing, which is I will be consuming less than I actually do. Um, so I'm really happy with this. Um, so far, I think Route Planner is doing a good job. Let's see, let's find a nice spot there. Okay, I can go in there. to have a sunny spot, right? I think so. And here we should be charging from, uh, what was it? From 20 to 58%, I think, in about, uh, 15 minutes. We're starting. So 142 kilowatts, that's good. And in 15 minutes, oh, I forgot to start the, the stopwatch. We should be getting to 58%. Now 15 minutes, 58%. So I'll start the stopwatch now, a bit later than planned. Let's say that we uh, have to add a, an extra minute for this. So we've been charging almost 15 minutes now and already we're at 16%, 60, sorry. So everything is going much more quicker here than uh, Route Planner uh, anticipated, which is good, I think. For now we're supposed to go to Fulda and what I asked the Route Planner to do is to make sure that I arrive there with 30% of charge. Now that we are up to 60 almost 65 instead of the 58 that it recommended me to charge to i would imagine we will be arriving there with some 37 percent of charge so if that happens then uh, route planner did a very good job so let's have a look Okay, we made it to Fulda, um, and what we have left is 33% of charge, which is actually 2% more than uh, than I asked that the route planner to leave us with. But then again, we drove off with almost 10% more charge than uh, I should have charged at the last stop. I use quite a lot of energy. I have an average consumption of 248 watt hours per kilometer. 
for the whole trip, the whole 500 kilometers, and the last part would, would have been a lot more, of course. That's because we're driving in Germany. Yeah, of course, it's nice to uh, drive a little faster than the 110 kilometers per hour that I usually can drive in the Netherlands. You don't buy a Model 3 Performance to drive 110 kilometers per hour on the, on the highway. So it was a fun drive and uh, I was very happy with the performance of a better route planner, actually. Before we end the video, let's compare the predictions of a better route planner with the reality. We already looked at the charge levels throughout the video and a better route planner was very accurate in its predictions there. It was a different thing for the duration and the cost of the charges. In Sevenaar we actually had to charge for twice as long as was predicted by a better route planner. Uh, in Liechtendorf it was pretty, pretty accurate. We charged a bit longer and we charged a little uh, to a, li a little less state of charge. In uh, Mausfeld, uh, we actually charged exactly what uh, a better route planner predicted. Uh, the total charging time was so it was about 10% more or maybe 20% more than uh, predicted. And the cost, it was lower than predicted, but that's mainly because of the charge session in Lichtendorf where we didn't pay the standard Ionity fee of, I think it's 80 something euro cents per uh, uh, kilowatt hour, but we paid the Meingau price, which is significantly lower. Uh, the Tesla charger was more expensive in Mausfeld than uh, predicted. In the end, we paid 38 euros instead of the uh, predicted 46 euros. So all in all, I think Route Planner is very accurate when it comes to uh, charge locations and charge levels and cost and timing could be uh, improved.